Hello Scrappers and Planet Lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So one of my subscribers asked a great question. They asked, how do I tell the difference between aluminum and stainless steel? You find them both a lot on the side of the road. And what I like to use is what I call the five point test. There are five ways that I tell, and I'm sure there's more out there, but these are the five I found as most useful. As you can see, I've got a bunch of material here. This side is aluminum. This side is stainless steel. The first test I like to use is called the look test. Sometimes they actually say right on the item. So as you can see on this one, it says pure aluminum. This one this is a pot that says stainless steel. Okay, so they've already done the work for me. Okay, also in the look test is the color. A lot of times aluminum, if I compare the two, aluminum is more of a frosty color, whereas stainless steel is more metallic and shiny. And sometimes what I do want to point out with this stainless steel, however, is I guess also more of the magnetic test. Sometimes you have items like this mixing bowl and this barbecue top that look like stainless steel. It's got that mag metallic look. But if I put a magnet to it, it sticks, okay? Both aluminum and stainless steel, if it was good stainless steel, does not, uh, is not magnetic, okay? And when you have something that looks like stainless steel and it is magnetic, the reason it sticks is because there's only a small little coating of nickel, okay? So if it sticks to the bowl like it is there, this is actually, at a scrapyard, going to be classified the same as just steel price because there's not enough nickel on there to deem it as stainless steel. Okay, so that's something you have to be aware of with the difference between stainless steel. The second test is the weight test. A lot of times, stainless steel is heavier than aluminum. Okay, so if I pick up this tray here, it's very light. Okay, the pot here, both of these pots are very heavy. Okay, and that's because, as I said, there's, a, there's steel underneath and it just is coated nicely with nickel. Um, all of these trays, these different items that I have, are very light, okay? So this came off of a vacuum cleaner. Um, this tray, now this is a, a nice piece, but it's, um, it's very thick, so it is going to be heavier. So that one is not really a, a conclusive test. It depends on the item, okay? But that's sometimes the way you can tell. Okay. The next one is probably the most effective, and that is called the spark test. If I use an angle grinder, or some people use one of those table grinders, aluminum, when you uh, chip at it or cut it, it does not spark. Stainless steel, however, because there's steel underneath, does spark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two pieces. This is a hose off of a barbecue okay, that had a brass fitting. I took the brass off. And I'm just gonna use a random bar, okay? This is aluminum, stainless steel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my grinder right now, okay? And I will start with the aluminum, and I will show you it doesn't spark. So I'm gonna first of all put on my safety glasses because that's important. All right, and I'm hoping you can see the sparks, but again, the first one will not spark because this is aluminum, so here we go. So aluminum, there are no sparks. The stainless steel. As you can see, there was a lot of sparks coming off of that. Okay, so the spark test is probably, for me, the most obvious test. Now, the last thing I like to say also, I guess this comes with practice, is knowing or the knowledge test, knowing where certain materials come from. So if I look at my aluminum here, a lot of times you're gonna find, for example, this came off of a circuit board, you're gonna find aluminum heat sinks, okay? So that's a really nice piece of aluminum. A lot of your um, wet mops or appliances that you have, the Swiffer wet jets, they are gonna use lightweight aluminum. Uh, this comes out of a transformer, out of a microwave. This is aluminum, okay, a nice fan. 
Um, again, I use the test, it's frosty colored. This is aluminum, it's not magnetic, uh, it's light. This also came out of a motor. Okay, a lot of motors have these really nice circular aluminum um, plates, very light. Again, a lot of times you have pots that are stainless steel, especially when they're heavy. Okay, this is, it'll say on it if it's aluminum or not sometimes. Your stainless steel, you're gonna find stainless steel barbecues. Um, again, mixing bowls often either are pure stainless steel or they look like stainless steel. Your hoses off of washing machines, these are stainless steel. Uh, a lot of times you find these, they're gas pipes that go to your gas line. These are aluminum. Okay. Um, a lot of this is just off of a bike, like one of those uh, scooters. Uh, it's got a stainless steel frame to it. Okay, it's not the frosty color. Uh, it's metallic. It's not magnetic. Okay, so sometimes it's just with experience, learning where th certain things come from helps clarify as well. But I would say the most conclusive uh, test is the spark test. Okay, so great question. Hope you, uh, that answered it. Um, keep those questions coming. Uh, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Tin Man out.